it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of April, so this could happen at any time in April, okay? So keep in mind, not every reading is for you. What do we have for Capricorn for April? All that glitters is not gold, okay? It may look like it's gold, but it's not, okay? I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it to you in just a second, but I think that you need to be careful. Um, let's see. A need to see beyond the superficial. The desire to don a mask or dress something up to disguise its true nature. Trying to be something you're not. Chasing after every sparkly new thing. Being mercurial. It's only human to want to adorn oneself in trinkets and paint a pretty picture of oneself. It's natural to want to acquire the trappings of status or to deny them as a statement of rebellion. But if, it's, but if it sparkles, is it better? Whether it's a fast car, a big house, a title or position, the stamp of authority, or the sparkling of diamonds, these icons let you know something about a person, place, or thing. Or do they? The truth is that people seek to acquire things because of what they will do for them and how they symbolically will elevate them and make them more attractive. This card signals that it's time to see beyond the adornments and probe underneath the surface. Learn to recognize the masks people wear and the motives underlying them. Imagine all that, imagine all that glitter is gone. Would you still desire the object or person? Sometimes we try to become something we're not to impress others. We embellish a story a bit, adding some dramatic elements to make us more appealing. The real person becomes hidden behind the sparkle and shine. Then there are times when we don't see the true value of someone because he or she, he or she may not have the glitz and glamour that seems so desirable. Now is the time to look past the surface, beyond the mask, to the essence of a person. Who that person is, not what he or she has or can give you, is important. See beyond the glitter and look for the inner glow. Use the eyes in your heart. Let go of the artifice and let what is authentic shine. Sometimes an opportunity looks so good that it glitters like gold and you just can't resist it, especially when it, when it appears others are doing so well and have it hit the large mother load. During the American gold rush, everyone hurried west to find their fortune and then deserted entire towns after the mining depleted the gold veins in the earth. So too can you deplete yourself as you chase after the latest shiny thing that has caught your eye. There is a mercurial quality to your present circumstances. Pay no attention to those who chase after fool's gold. Resist the temptation to be jealous of others. What they have achieved may not be the true success you seek. So don't compare yourself to them. You only see the surface right now, only the sparkle. Be assured that you will experience your own shining moment if you stick to what you know. All that glitters may not be gold. So, that is a strong message. You know, I see this all the time with uh, those apps that, uh, you know, your face, their face, I don't even know what they're called. I don't, I don't use them. <laughs> Oh, God. But I see it all the time on those apps or those people. Filters. Those filters. Those photo apps. You know, what you see is definitely not what you get. 
look beyond the surface during this time. You may need to choose something that doesn't fit your uh, what you were looking for, you know. So look deeper at something. You may receive an offer from somebody that, you know, doesn't fit the part. They don't fit the description, the, the physical description. But they're the nicest person in the world. And this doesn't have to be a love offer. This could be any kind. It could be a job offer, you know. Four of Cups. Now, the Four of Cups is I'm not interested. I do believe that you are going to receive an offer from somebody. And you're going to have to judge the situation. Look at that. we got to judge or judges. Okay. Well, whoever these judges are, they are examining evidence. Okay. They're going on facts. You may have to go on facts during this month, or somebody might have to. Anyhow, this is, I'm not interested. We got somebody here that is discontent. They're not happy. They're missing an opportunity. We got somebody here that obviously cares about them or wants to share something with them, or this is a very kind, generous person, but this person isn't even interested. They're not interested. Who knows what, they got their own agenda, or they're just, they're not interested for some reason. When they got this person over here that really uh, wants to help them, you know. So I think that you could miss a really, really good opportunity. Uh, maybe you're focused on some previous hurt or some previous pain or something that isn't good for you. And you're missing a golden opportunity with somebody that... Uh, wants to help you. I feel like this person is different. They're different. They're different than you, you know, and I think that you should give them a chance. It feels like you are ignoring an opportunity that could really make you healthy. You know, it could help you. Um, if you think about water, water is um, the most healthy thing in the world. Really, it is for you. And this person is offering this person water. They're, they're offering them something that could help them in a very big way. So anyway, I feel like you have an offer that is coming into you that you are ignoring and you should give it a chance because it can probably help you in more ways than one. I don't think that you should ignore this offer. It's go you're going to receive an offer, but I think this this person, you know, isn't the one that you've been you it feels like some of you've been focusing on the past. Okay, I'm going to just spit it right out there. You've been focusing on a third party or you've been focusing on something that hurt you. You know, when there's another opportunity here that you should be giving your energy to. Stop moping and crying over the past. Or crying over whatever this is. Three of Wands reversed. Two of Wands reversed. Reverse. Knight of Swords. So this is undecided. So this is like stuck. Stuck in the present. Playing it safe. Unprepared. We got unprepared. Lack of foresight. Wasting time. Somebody is wasting time on the past. Yeah, they are. Not seeing that there's an opportunity. The three of wands is there's another opportunity. Seriously, we got somebody here that is totally missing an opportunity. Totally, totally, totally missing an opportunity. Seven of wands reversed. That is overwhelmed, worn down. You know, uh, Perhaps it's time to admit your defeat. That's need to admit, to walk away. I think we have somebody here that needs to walk away. Stop, stop standing your ground and fighting. It's like, I want to fight, I want to fight, I want to fight. Give up the battle. There's nothing to fight about. I want to fight for this. I want to wait for this. I'm going to stand my ground. I'm going to wait. Stop waiting. Admit your defeat. 
I think it's time to focus on the future. We got somebody here that is really having a hard time focusing on the future. There's another opportunity here. It could be the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There's another opportunity. It's like you're, it feels like we have somebody here that is waiting. They're waiting in vain. They're waiting in vain for an offer that isn't coming. When there's another opportunity here. I think that, that there's going to be an arrival. I do. I think there's an arrival. I think there's somebody here that is very logical, that knows what they want. This person it could be very protective. They may be even in a protective position. This person wants to help you. This person is very logical, very intelligent. This person is coming in and, and they, they're, it feels like their goal is to help you. And it's not, that's not really their goal when they first come in. But when they see the state that you're in, they probably want to help you. It's going to be easy to see what state of mind that you are in. Put it that way. They may see that, you know, you're moping. They may see that you're in a bad place. This person is going to um, throw their heart into it. It feels like they will want you to open up. They're not going to give up on you. I think that somebody is coming in that is not going to give up. Whoever is coming in, this person is, they communicate well, they're direct, they're honest, they're knowledgeable, um, they're focused. You are going to be communicating with somebody new this month. And, you know, this is the rods of love. And this is things happening fast. We have fast forward movement here. I think that you're going to be going in another direction. Somebody is going to be communicating with you. This person is not your usual type. Okay, they're not. They are not your usual type at all. You're going to, you're going to be receiving some sort of some sort of messages or news or I think it's messages. It could be text messages. Or you're going to be socializing with somebody. But it feels like you... It's interesting because it feels like you you don't really want to. It's almost like... You have no intention of communicating with this person. But this person doesn't give up. They don't give up and they're not going to give up. This person's not going to give up. They want to help you. They don't want you to stay in this situation. So it's interesting... <clears throat> Excuse me. I think this is a sudden arrival of some sort. I think this person comes out of nowhere. It's unplanned. You're unprepared for it. You may be soaking. You may be not interested. You're, you're focusing on something that hurt you. And all of a sudden, this person is beside you and they're trying to get you to communicate with them. <clears throat> Look at that. I'm drinking my water. It has to do with water. This does have to. This person may offer you some water. It may start with something to do with water. I haven't had to have a drink of water during a reading in probably, I don't even know since when. Year? So something to do with water. <laughs> there could be, a, it feels like there's a sudden arrival or a sudden return and things change really, really, really fast. But I think it's I don't I don't think it's the person that hurt you. I mean it could be. You could it could be the person that hurt you. This is totally unprepared. There's been a lot of wasted time. Somebody may be admitting their feet defeat. They may be admitting their defeat and they may be coming back around. They may be they may be coming with some truth. They may be coming to tell the truth. They may be speaking some truth. They may be willing to communicate. There is some communication coming your way. Absolutely. There is. And you are going to be unprepared for it. You may not be interested in it. You may Somebody may be coming to communicate with you and you're not even looking for it. You're not. You know, you're not. You may have your guard up. You may have a barrier up. You may be protecting yourself. 
So I do believe that you you may want to give somebody a chance this week or month. I think that somebody is going to want you to give them a chance. Could be a water sign. Could be a water sign. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I think that you need to look beyond the surface. You need to look a little bit deeper. Give this person a chance. Five of Wands reverse. This is a turning point. It's the end of a battle. We got somebody here that doesn't want to fight. And they've been fighting. There's this is the end of some sort of fight with these. This is like a competition. This is the end of a competition. This is this is the competition coming to an end. It's the end of the battle. There's been some sort of serious battle with these two cards. Somebody has wasted time fighting. They have. Maybe they were fighting their feelings. They didn't see. They missed an opportunity. Somebody missed an opportunity. They may be coming back around. They may. This could. They definitely could be. Somebody may be coming back around. This person knows what they want. They may have gotten an epiphany. Okay? You may be receiving a message from somebody. Uh... That neglected you in some way. Maybe you're no longer interested in them and they want now they want you to give them a chance. Hmm. Maybe this person was too focused on, you know, all that glitters. All that is glitter all that glitters, you know, and now they've gotten some sort of epiphany. And here they come. And they're coming in fast. And, and this, you know, this could be somebody brand new as well. There is fast forward movement here with these two cards. Absolutely. Things are going to change fast. This is an arrival of some sort. This is admitting defeat. This is the end of, and this is strong competition. We have somebody that was highly, highly, highly competitive. This is, I don't want to fight anymore. These are both upright. They're fighting. I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to fight. I just want to be happy. We have somebody here that is exhausted and fed up. And maybe they want to find a solution. This is in being reluctant. You are going to be reluctant. I think that you are going to be reluctant to accept this offer, whatever it is. You're going to be receiving something, an offer, or you're going to be receiving, somebody wants to help you, and I feel like you're going to be very reluctant to accept it, you know? I feel like you are unprepared for this offer, you're not looking for this offer, but it is coming. It is definitely coming. You're going to be receiving a message, and I think it's going to surprise you. I do think it's going to surprise you. Yeah, it could be an apology. This is a new, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be an apology. Whatever it is, it's a new opportunity. Okay, this is a real opportunity. This is somebody that uh, is finding their backbone to make you an offer and they're willing to do whatever it takes. This is somebody who is not going to give up. They are not. So you may be receiving an apology from somebody. They The, the page of point... <laughs> cannot speak for any reason page of coins or I was going to say the page of pentacles is an apology doesn't have to be though this is a this is a new enterprise it is, an, is a new project a new opportunity that leads to stability security abundance but it's not going to be easy it is not going to be easy so I feel like you're going to be and this is something you asked for it's something you manifested you have manifested an offer. This could be a job offer. You're going to receive an offer from somebody that may not seem like it's what you want. My suggestion, suggestion is to take it. You are going to receive an offer, okay? And I feel like you, it's, not what, it's not what you were asking for, but it is. It's what the universe says that you should have. Okay, this is what you were meant to have. It may not be exactly what you are asking for, but it's the offer that you need. Okay, this is what you need. So yes, you're going to be receiving an offer that 
you know it may not it may not be what you asked for but it's what you need and that's all I can say this leads to abundance it's not gonna be easy for you to go down this path you may have to do things that you haven't done before. You may have to learn some new skills. But it does it does uh, lead to abundance. So I think it's a surprise. I think it's a surprise offer. It's not it's not what you wanted, but it's what you need, and that's all I can say. Um, take it. Take it. Good luck.